massive difference, you know, and that's the thing, I guess, you know, uh, a lot of these senior men have been playing footy for a long time and, um, you know, they, they've had many different coaches. Now they're, they're coaching the women. Some of them, are, this is their first year of playing football, you know, and they might be, you know, some might be, you know, 25, 30 even, just coming and joining football for the first time. And then there are others who have played since Auskick and, you know, so it's a varying range of, uh, of, of skill level um, but, and experience in the game. And, uh, but one thing about um, the women that I'm finding is you talk about look you in the eye. They, you know, they are like sponges. They want to learn. They want, they want to be challenged. You know, they, they're coming and joining a, a football. They love watching it on TV. They, they've all got their footy teams. And, and I think when you're, you're, you're coaching women, you've got to strip it back, but explain as well. And, you know, we talk about the word front and square. So if you're a senior man that's been around the football scene for a while, everyone knows what front and square is. But, you know, anything that, any terminology that I would use um, in, with the, the girls, I'd always have to be clear is, you know, I'll say the word front and square, but then I'd stop and say, okay, put your hand up if you don't know what front and square is. And you'd be surprised. I'd be, you know, 15, 20 uh, of the women will put their hand up. So you go back and you explain, well, what is front and square? And then, you know, so everything that you use, um, it, it's good because it, it's almost like you're coaching uh, I guess juniors where you because my terminology of coaching 14 years of men sometimes you just speak and and you, you would expect that majority of the, the senior men would understand so that's why I've enjoyed coaching the women because now all the terminology I use I've then got to explain what everything means and and you go back and and it's just simplifying absolutely everything and you know so that's where I've enjoyed my time because now it, it makes me realize uh, my communication style and whatever I'm delivering, make sure that you explain and that, you know, look everyone in the eye and if there's any blank faces, stop. And because there'll be others in the group that don't know what you're saying and, but are too shy to put their hands up. So that's why it's important, I think, uh, you know, to, to very much simplify and explain everything. So I'm, I'm really enjoying that part of it.